So I never thought that it was possible to fall in love with Scotland any more than I already am until I came here. Just look at this place. This place is like something out of a movie. I mean, just look at it. Just look at this. And there is a stag on that hill over there watching me right now. This is absolutely amazing. This is probably one of the wildest and one of the most remote places in the whole of Scotland. This is out of this world. This is a true, true wilderness and the light white right now is absolutely exceptional. Oh, I'm going up this tower to see the gorgeous view from above. I'm so excited for this. Wish that I could stay Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find so welcome to Sutherland, one of the most remotest places in the whole of Scotland. This view is out of this world. I cannot believe this is a real place. This is incredible. Just look at it. So at the start of November, we've got snow on the hills, beautiful snow. Where I come from in Scotland, you very rarely get snow. So coming up here and seeing that. I've never been this far north in the winter before. Been up here in the summer, but never the winter. And I've never been to this part of Sutherland. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I'm living here for the next two weeks. Two weeks in this stunning surroundings. So because I'm living here for the next two weeks, I'm not going to rush my images. I'm just going to wait for the light to be right. I arrived yesterday and so far I've seen about 15 rainbows, some absolutely stunning light, so much has been happening. But because I've been settling into this location, getting to know the area that I'm going to be staying in for the next few weeks, I've not had a chance to get out with my camera until now. The sun is currently setting behind these mountains over here. Unfortunately, it's not giving us much spectacular sunset light, but the reason I'm here just now is to scout out this location and although I'm not going to get much opportunity to get out with my camera while I'm here, I've got the whole of next weekend free to do so and I'm so excited to see what these weeks are going to hold. I genuinely can't believe this place exists because this is just magnificent. It's amazing, like you can see for miles and you can see weather fronts coming in, the wind has been extraordinary at times today, but it's what makes this place so phenomenal and so beautiful. And this is just an absolutely cracking location. And I never used to find these kind of areas in Scotland that interesting. I used to find them very bleak and just very barren and just not much interest. But coming here has totally changed my view of that because this place is incredible. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. <laughs> Do you know, one of the great things about being in the Highlands and being somewhere as wild and remote as this is that before a storm or before a rain shower comes in, it goes completely quiet and you can't hear a thing. And right now that's happening because look what's heading my way. I am about to get soaked to the skin. But do you know what? This is so exhilarating. And this is what being in the highlands of Scotland and these wild, rugged places is all about. The rain is coming down now. In fact, it's not rain, it is hailstones. I better get my camera in before it gets wrecked. This is insane. There is a torrential hail, hail shower right now.
So unfortunately at this point things took a turn for the worst and I had to retreat back to my accommodation as the rain and hail showers continued to batter the landscape around me. So it's now a week later and I've decided to come back to the same location that I was at this time last week in the hope of trying to get some really nice sunset light. Unfortunately, like I've mentioned in one of my videos recently, trying to photograph the sunrise and sunset just now, it's just so impossible, so impossible, because it, the sun always rises and sets while I'm at work, and it's been the case the whole week this week. And, but to be fair, there's not really been many good sunrises or sunsets anyway. But anyway, I've come here back here today for sunset. I'm gonna try and see if we can get some nice images. But unfortunately, the cloud cover right now is pretty, well, as you can see, there's not many breaks in the clouds at all right now. But the weather today is totally different to what it was like when I was here last weekend. As you will have seen earlier in this video, I got hammered by a hail shower. It was very, very windy. But right now, there's not even a breeze in the air. All I can hear is the tiny distant trickles of a stream. It's amazing. This scene here is so beautiful and seeing it as still as this right now, it's just incredible, it's lovely, it's so beautiful. Anyway, so I've set up my camera with my Lee Little Stopper. I would have liked to have put my Big Stopper on but unfortunately I've not got my trigger release remote with me so taking photographs over a couple of minutes isn't going to be possible. So instead I've got this one here which has given me an exposure of 25 seconds and I've also got a polarizer in situ as well to get rid of some of the glare initially. I'm going to try this a couple of times to get some nice blue moody shots. I'm going to see how this goes. I hope we're going to get at least one decent image because this place is incredible and I'd love to get some images just to remind me of how beautiful it is. Trying to live another day like the mothers of Brazil find their way We're all on our own But you're the most beautiful I've ever known You know, being in the Scottish Highlands in the winter is absolutely incredible It is so quiet, so remote, so rugged It's absolutely incredible And it's very rare that you get moments like this where there's no wind in the air, no sleet, no snow. This is the first time since I got here a week ago that I've been blessed with conditions like this. And when you get lulls in the weather like this, in the winter time, in the Highlands of Scotland, it is an amazing feeling. Wow. And this landscape is so vast, so wild. And just, it's incredible. I feel so privileged to be up here. So incredibly privileged. It's just amazing. And I would urge all of you guys, no matter where you live in the world, to take the time to discover places in your country that you've never been to before. Because it's so exciting to discover these places. And until this week, I didn't know much about this landscape. You know, this is all blanket bog here in Scotland and I think I said in the first half of this video that I never used to appreciate landscapes like this. I used to find them too wild and barren for my liking but this week I've learnt a lot about the science behind this area and all the conservation work that's going on here is absolutely incredible and to be a part of that and to live here and take part in such a wonderful project, it's just been so eye-opening and I just feel so privileged to be here. I really do. Mm -hmm. 